Hi, I'm Roger from outofout.uk. I'm at the NEC of February 2024 uh, with James from Telta, new awning brand. Uh, and uh, I believe this one, James, is the new Telta Core. Yep. Uh, so what's this, a driveway awning? Yes, so effectively what we have, so this is brand new for the 2024 season. Yeah. And we're really excited to present this uh, to the February event here, but this will be available through our retailer network for 2024. Now, with the Core 260, this is a product which is designed based on consumer feedback. And what we have here is that we have an awning, which is a driveway awning, which is suitable for a range of vehicles. Okay, so, so, so how does that work then, James? How is it gonna be suitable for different multi-height vehicles? So basically we have the awning itself, which is freestanding, and it's a driveway. And we really wanna focus on what our consumers' vehicles they have. So there is a, an, a, the optional tunnel, we find a, a tunnel which is suitable for your vehicle. So we do a tunnel which is designed for the smaller camper vans, for example, your transits, your transporters, which will have an attachment height of 1.8 to 2.1 uh, uh, meters on there. And effectively, this tunnel is designed to give you a nice gradient so you'll get a better attachment onto those vehicles. And then we do a tunnel for those larger panel vans as well so this could be something on a Decato or a Sprinter sort of panel like van. Your mid-height your mid your mid panel yeah. van style of camper van. Exactly because this market here is a growing market and we're seeing this grow throughout Europe and there isn't really a, um, a solution for these vehicles uh, on the market without a proper attachment on there. So we focus on here is that there's a tunnel designed for those vehicles and basically these, tu these tunnels now are designed to taper out on there so they're now three meters wide on there because on these um, sprinters and decatos you from the closed position to the rear of the open position it's you a big need a, wide open door it's a big wide open door and a lot of the owners on the market they don't have that clearance for that sliding door and generally you need at least 2.8 meters for that clearance so with a tunnel of three meters we're allowing people to have a nice bit of space so they still can gain access nice and easy inside their vehicle okay, so even from a retailer's point of view um, it's just a case of stocking one awning but three different attachments um, exactly which uh, so when, when the customer comes in as long as they know what sort of vehicle they've got and the size of the vehicle uh, then we'll be able to supply attachment I pretty much identical to their vehicle exactly it becomes a bit more of a tailored fit rather than just working on what height the uh, the customers have and what on vehicles. So the final tunnel we have is for a motorhome, so anything with a coach built on the back. And basically this will fit from 2.4 meters all the way up to three meters on there. But the motorhome tunnel, which has got the, um, on a coach built, we actually make this a little bit deeper. We actually make this 90 centimeters deeper because right. this allows for that hinge door yeah. because it projects away from the vehicle. It still allows clearance for that door as well. So what sort of size is this awning then, James? So we have our, it's a core 260, so it's 2.6 meters wide, okay. and then the depth of the awning is 2.4 meters, and that's obviously the awning itself before you kind of take into consideration the tunnel. And is this one also made out of the same fabrics as your awning with the breathable fabrics? Yeah, so we've done something very different here in the market. So this, this awning here works on a bit of a hybrid of fabrics. Okay. So the main shell, Okay, so with the uprights here and the roof material, it's using our Telta breathable fabric. With our breathable fabric, you're going to see a dramatic reduction in things like condensation, regulating temperatures better for you. But we really want to focus on what our customers' vehicles they have. So if they yes, have got a, a camper van or the pa larger panel vans or motorhomes, weight and pack size is important. Definitely. So what we've done here is for all the panels, so anything that's just removable, we use a really strong 210 denier ripstop polyester okay. on there so with a it's still nice and strong uh, for the customers as well but because of this nature of this fabric it allows it to fold easier yeah but also it reduces the pack size yeah. as well which is so always important when you've got a motorhome or a camper van exactly because we are everyone's cautious about those weight limits yeah. so a we offer an awning which a, you're getting a better breathability, reducing your condensation. But we are really, really focusing on the pack size of the unit to make sure that you can take it from trip to trip. Yeah. And so do all these side panels actually come out and fully removed? Yes, yeah, so you can remove all the side panels on these ones. Right. So, so ma ma making the pack size a little bit smaller uh, and you can also uh, just put the frame of the awning up and then add your panels afterwards. Yeah, so it makes setting up the awning even easier on there. But because A, when you remove the panels, it makes things, gives you options of being able to roll the doors open on there. You can veranda the panels down. Yeah. But also, 
on this driveway awning, it takes the same annex what we already produce as well. So you can use this for sleeping. Oh, uh, okay. Well. So you can uh, take the side panels out yep. and uh, actually fit an extra annex on the side in case you do need the extra sleeping space. Uh, if you've got a, a family that requires it and can sleep in the van. Exactly, so especially with these uh, panel vans, for example, there's not uh, an abundance of sleeping available inside the van. So for, for, for growing families or larger families, you can have this only set up and you can still have a sleeping annex, which is gonna give you a comfortable sleeping solution for your holiday as well. Excellent, and from the uh, po point of connection to the vehicle, yeah. um, presumably there's a nice big back panel that you can then walk out through to get in uh, and out of the vehicle. Exactly, so basically, depending on this fits uh, all vehicles across Europe, there so we can use a door on the left hand side or this door here can be rolled up on there so if your door entrance is there on your particular vehicle or you can remove it completely um, if you do want to gain really easy uh, access to and from the vehicle but then when you want to use the drive away feature what you can do is you can actually zip this up completely secure the awning and giving you the ability to drive off site as now well. a lot of the uh, panel vans and uh, bigger motorhomes uh, have got things like the uh, wind out awnings and things on the side of yep. the van uh, does this attach to those uh, wind out awnings yes so we do actually implement so there is a kdar strip on there so depending on your vehicle you can just buy a drive away kit and to attach on on there but effectively with the taller panel vans or the motorhomes, we do actually integrate these extra long straps and these are designed to go completely over the top of the vehicle, which will allow you to increase your attachment height, which will allow for a better gradient for water runoff. It also creates a better gradient and a taller attachment height to clear those doors as well. But simply when you want to drive off site, you just remove the three pegs, pull the tunnel down, drive off site. Then when you want to attach on there, you could walk the straps around the vehicle and simply just peg those on there. So attaching onto the vehicle will take just a matter of minutes. Excellent, that sounds good. Uh, is there any other features that we need to know about from inside the awning, James? Well, because this is a Telfer awning and it's still using our premium inflatable framework, as we come inside the awning, we have, with our airframe inflatable framework, we're nice and upright here on there and basically what this means is I can still stand at the front of the awning and with motorhomes either getting bigger on the coach belts and sites the, the thing is what you'll find is a lot of driveway awnings are getting bigger and so they're coming further away but you're not being able to have loads of space so we focus on the available pitch available for our customers and we're trying to maximize the usable living space inside the awning as well so as we as I'm here, it's nice and tall at the front, and this is the lowest point. And then towards the back, it's yeah. all the way yeah, up see here. There's a nice, uh, a nice amount of room in here, uh, uh, giving uh, uh, plenty of volume of space. It's a real living space. It's uh, a real well, living space. Certainly, will make a good lounge area to anybody's uh, camper van or motorhome. Fantastic. So uh, there we are. That's uh, uh, our explanation of the uh, Telta Core. Um, so like we've just been explained, a uh, great drive away awning for uh, uh, all sorts of size vehicles. Thank you James for showing us around.